Daniel, will you take Lindsay to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness, to her self-fulfillment as a person, and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? Yes, I promise. Okay, Lindsay, will you take Daniel to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person and his usefulness in God's kingdom? And do you promise to love, honor, and trust and serve him in sickness and in health and adversity and prosperity and be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? I do. If you know my sister, she's a lover. She always has been. And seeing her go through like all the past pains that I have seen, it's been really hard. And I'm so glad you finally found Daniel, who treats you like you should be treated. I remember the first time they ever hung out, it was at my parents' shop. Now after that day, Daniel's all she could talk about. That's how I knew he was going to be sticking around for a while. I wasn't complaining. I thought he was pretty cool. A little quiet, but it's okay. I had to break his shell a little bit. I remember the moment my mom told me he was going to propose and I quickly started looking up ideas and areas to pop the question because Lindsay more than deserves a fairy tale beginning to her new life. I would absolutely do anything for these two. You guys more than deserve this happy future. I know I don't say it often, but I love you both so much. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Valeroy. And thank you, Daniel, for being the knight in shiny armor my sister deserves. to you. Daniel, with this ring, I pledge my love and life to you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And treat me not to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Since they have made these commitments before God and this assembly, by the authority of God and the laws of this state, I declare that Daniel and Lindsay are husband and wife. Daniel and Lindsay, you are no longer two independent persons. But one, what therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss your bride. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Valroy. <laughs> As a best man, I firstly want to congratulate Dan and Lindsay and say what a pleasure it is to be here and celebrating you guys on this very special day. 
Being my oldest and closest friend, we've been through a lot together. From childhood mischief to navigating through adult life, and I am so proud of the person you've become. Lindsay, I've seen him at his worst, and I've seen him at his best, but through the years, I've never seen him as happy as he is when he's with you. You have brought so much love and happiness into his life and helped shape him to the man he is today. I know that the two of you will have many years of happiness ahead of you. As we continue to celebrate this special day, I would like to raise a toast to the happy couple. May your love be modern enough to survive the times, but old-fashioned enough to last forever. Cheers.